Who is the LRA? The Lord's Resistance Army, or LRA, is a fanatical rebel group that is responsible for Africa's longest running armed conflict. This little known fact explains the sole purpose of the group, self-preservation. Present day, they're conducting a campaign of destruction across Central Africa, waiting until some corrupt government hires them to fight again. The LRA has always been an opportunistic group. Joseph Kony, the self-appointed messiah of the rebels, took the remnants from the two defeated rebel factions that preceded him, taking one's traditional military chain of command with the other's spiritual practices and combined them to create the LRA's cult beliefs. The most important being that his commands come directly from the spirit world and are not to be questioned. <laughs> He then prophesied to overthrow the government and rule the country by the Ten Commandments. That is, until he broke every one of them. The LRA's cruelty and unconvincing agenda lost them support from the local population. And without it, Kony needed a new backer. He found one in Omar al-Bashir. With arms from the government of Sudan, some of which they still use today, Kony grew the LRA by abducting thousands of young children and brainwashing them to fight. Was Kony raising this army of conscripted soldiers for a political purpose? Quite the opposite. His army became a tool of personal enrichment. Multiple attempts from mediators to negotiate with Kony never came to fruition because Kony had come to find everything he wanted in the jungle. Dozens of abducted girls as sex slaves and a godlike status amongst his terrified followers. Kony, different times, proposed peace and then just regain strength and attack. We cannot deny the crimes. Kony is abducting children, transforming them in monsters. But Kony's supernatural powers couldn't prevent the LRA from being pushed out of the country when Sudan stopped supplying them weapons. The LRA fled into neighboring countries, where they currently operate in small groups amongst the area's vast jungle. While the group's numbers have significantly diminished, their capacity for destruction continues to be unproportionately large compared to the LRA's overall size. For this reason, the region's military still continue the mission to apprehend Kony. And while that would deal severe blow to the rebels, it would not mean the immediate end of the LRA. Some of Kony's top commanders, while not as crucial to the rebel group, will never surrender and would need to be apprehended even after Kony is captured. The world's governments need to lend their unique capabilities to stop the LRA and bring its leaders to justice for the crimes they've committed. But Kony has calculated that the international community will continue to stop at talk and talk alone as long as his victims remain at the bottom of the development spectrum. The question remains, is Kony correct?